All right, YouTube, what's up? It's Rick again. Got a new um, new video coming your way for this uh, MCHF uh, radio project. Um, so this is a follow-up to my last video. I'll put a link in the description to that one where I discuss um, a case that I bought and uh, some blank PCBs. In this case, uh, I have ordered the full and complete kit from uh, M0NKA, and this is the box that it has come in. And I've already opened the box just to uh, inspect everything, but um, so we're gonna. But I put everything back in the way that it came, so you can see. Um, so what comes in the box here? And we open this up. Plenty of uh, plenty of packing. He did a real good job there. And we have uh, different bags for the different components. These are all the components for the UI board. They're nicely labeled here, which I didn't expect. That was a, a nice touch. So these are all of the um, uh, the through hole components for the UI board, uh, organized and labeled. And these are all of the components for the uh, RF board, um, again labeled and, and everything. So then there's a little packing slip in there to um, tell you what should have come. And, uh, little tick marks showing that he uh, he checked it. So those are the components there. Um, here we have the LCD uh, display. Came wrapped in its own uh, own little place there. And then on to this bit are the actual boards themselves. Now the boards I showed in the last video um, were revision 0.05, so the last version. These are 0.06 boards. Let me just show you these real quick. And also one of the main differences is the boards uh, that I showed in my last video did not have any of the surface mount components uh, already installed. So I was prepared to install all the surface mount components and put the project on hold and by then he had had the full stock in place so I just kind of um, scrapped the last boards there and I mean I've still got them but um, I'm not going to use them. So these are the this is the UI board here and as you can see all of the uh, surface mount components, let me see if I can get this to focus are um, are already installed making this a um, a much easier job to complete so uh, the only thing I have to do at this point is follow the placement guide and um, install the through hole components uh, on here load the firmware and so forth and off we go um, so this is the UI board uh, this is the back side of it here not not much going on there just a few resistors let me get that to focus a few resistors there for the um, the LCD um, the RF board here, similar similar story. Um, we have all of the uh, very tedious to install components uh, installed there, and I don't know if you can see the uh, the soldering job on here. Whatever factory he's used to uh, produce these uh, has done a fine job um, of installing those. All of the soldering joints are um, of good high quality. Everything looks looks pretty good there. So this is the other side of the board here. Um, so you can see in detail. Now one thing I didn't mention in my last video, what's nice about this kit, is if you notice it, it may not be the most efficient layout um, from an engineering standpoint, but it is very handy for a kit, which is obviously what this is. You'll notice each of these little sections here represents a different functional part of this project. Um, so you, you can see, you know, uh, power SWR meter here. Let's see, where's my finger? There it is. Um, we have the uh, the power section over here, uh, antenna switch up here. So each of the functional areas that make up this radio are clearly marked and uh, sort of easy to understand what they do, which is nice uh, for troubleshooting and, and just generally understanding how a radio works. Um, you don't get that on, on um, uh, commercial radios, of course, and, and some of the kits that are out there. So um, just wanted to do a follow-up on this uh, kit. If you are thinking about ordering one of these, the shipping was, uh, was quick and very reasonable. He's, uh, he's done a real fine job of putting this kit together. Uh, in a way that makes sense. I'm going to go ahead and roll these um, back up. And if, if you haven't seen my other video, I kind of give more of an outline of what this project is and what it does. I'm not going to kind of rehash all of that in uh, in this video. I just wanted to kind of give you a um, an idea of what you could expect if you order this kit from M0 NKA. His name is Chris out of uh, out of UK. Um, and real quick, let me just show you this uh, LCD here. Um, so that comes uh, just like this, and this is from uh, the company 
that he recommends ordering it from if you wind up doing it yourself, PowerMCU.com. So he's just uh, gone ahead and sourced all these components for you and included them in this kit, uh, which makes it a lot easier. So uh, again, you get all the pieces for the RF and the, uh, the UI board there. And so all I have to do now at this point is use the placement guide, solder all these pieces in, and um, wind up these um, these little coils for the low pass filters and um, transformers and so forth. And then I think I've got I think I've still got it handy here. This is the case that ultimately this is all going to go into, and I go into a little bit more detail about this case in my previous video, but. Um, if you get the case and you get this exact kit here, those are the only two things that you really need to buy. Um, and then um, you'll have a, a functional radio there. So that's um, the whole end-to-end -end thing. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I had purposed to tell you in this video. Um, obviously, I'll be doing some follow-up videos as I start building the, um, the kit. I'll show you. Um, that and obviously discuss any challenges that I have with it. There's always challenges with project projects like this, so I'll be outlining some of those. But uh, again, I just want to give more of a comprehensive idea of what this kit is, and um, and uh, in this case, what comes in this box. So this is sort of an unboxing video to give you an idea of what you get with the M0 NKA kit. Um, uh, the case is not included with the purchase of the kit. This was ordered separately on eBay, as my other video outlines. Um, so cool. Anyway, thanks a lot for, uh, for watching. Hope this helps somebody. And if you have any questions, uh, just let me know and uh, expect some follow-ups to this project here in, in the near future. I'm going to go ahead and show, you know, not, not really step-by-step -step necessarily, but I'll, I'll show you my progress in, in probably a few different videos coming up. So, uh, thanks for watching. I uh, hope it helps and uh, I'll talk to you later. Bye.